Hey guys, today we're going to work on conceptual interior elevations. This is the preview of what uh, the finished product will look like. You'll need an Apple Pencil, an iPad, and Procreate app for this. So you will need to um, open up Procreate, and then this one I have already drawn the floor plan of what I'm going to be using. And um, if you don't know how to do that, you can watch the video I have that is about drawing a furniture plan on Procreate. But I've already drawn this one and now make, made a copy of it. I'm shifting it lower on my picture plan so I have enough room above it to um, create my elevation. So. Okay, you're going to add a new layer and then tap on the layer and then turn on drawing assist. This will help you keep all your lines horizontal and vertical. So from the interior wall lines, you go ahead and extend a vertical line. Then draw a horizontal line on the grid and then count the ceiling height. So this is going to be a tall ceiling for me that I'm working with. So I'm counting all the way to 16. I'm going to go ahead and draw that ceiling line and I'm going to go ahead and extend the vertical lines to meet my ceiling lines. Okay. So this is a conceptual sketch and you can always clean it up later, but right now I'm just doing the kind of major lines. So here is the, the line extension for my fireplace. So I'm going to go ahead and extend that line. Here are my um, furniture lines, my artwork lines. So I'm getting the general, um, all my furniture items. Then I'm going to look at the height. So again, look at your reference image to see what height everything is. Um, what height do you want the artwork to be? You know, all the details that you have. Because at this stage, you're just blocking out the furniture elements. Here's actually the edge of my banquette for the sideboard here. And then now I'm correcting my artwork a little bit more. But this is kind of blocking out. You can detail all your items later, but this is general sizes. So, um, so you always want to make sure you have the height right and the width right um, when you're doing these elevations. And then as you get those details blocked out, then you can kind of think about your um, architectural elements and the height that you want things. So I'm going to go ahead and block out my corbels and my um, ceiling details a little bit more and then I'm going to do the height for the table so I am doing the foreground so before that I did the background for the main walls but I want to show my dining table in front of it so I'm doing the profile now of the chairs and the seat height of the chairs and the overall height of the chairs so again you're, you've got to use your reference images and check the height and make sure you know how to count the squares um, and that's why I have the grid layer on uh, to turn on the grid layer you're going to go to the tools and then go to canvas and then click on drawing guide and that gives you the grid paper um, then you're going to go ahead and just kind of do the details here's the light fixture that I have that's hanging there but when I have the drawing assist on, it only lets me draw vertical and horizontal lines. Now I'm going to go ahead and tap on that layer and turn my drawing assist option off. And I'm going to go back to sketch, um, sketch tool. And I'm going to go ahead and do my organic or curved lines. Here's my fireplace. Uh, the details on the fireplace. I'm going to also draw the angled line for the um, fireplace, the hood, and then the angled lines for the light fixture and kind of detail that in or sketch that in rather. So here's my fire that I'm going to indicate here. So it's all very loose. Now I'll turn back the sketching assistant for anything that's vertical and horizontal so that it helps me keep my straight lines. So this is my framing for the artwork and you can just turn it on and off as, as you'd like. 
Now the back of the chair has got an angle to it, so I have to turn it off so I can get the details for the chair. And this is basically the rough draft of my elevation. The next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna add a layer underneath the rough draft. Then you're gonna use the selection tool to click on all four corners. Um, and then I select the wall color that I wanna use for the main wall. And then I use the airbrush tool, increase the size, and just give myself you know, a couple strokes and then you have all the walls done that you, you want it to have. Then if you want to make the values change, then you can lower um, the size of the tip and then you can layer on some more. Um, then I kind of darken up the wall colors a little bit, maybe add some shadows. Uh, think about where the light's coming from. If I have a little bit of um, arc of light from my can light in the center so that I can make it a little bit more theatrical. So here's some light here, some shadows here that I'm drawing. So there's like a cone of light. Here's some gray in my firebox. Um, some gray for the light fixture. And some details underneath the corbels. Then I'm gonna go ahead and define it with some little uh, lighter color so that I can get the light coming in. So this is all a layer underneath my rough draft. Then I'm going to put another layer or add another layer on, and this will be all my colored stuff. But this is just rough color. So if you want to quickly show um, your vision and you don't have that much time, this is a really good way to do that because this is not perfect. It's not you know photorealistic in any way, but it kind of gives you like the coloration that you're going to use, the general idea of what it looks like. Um, and it gives a good hand quality of work without, you know, hauling out all your markers and all the other good stuff. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and draw the fireplace mantle. Go ahead and draw the curve that you wanna keep and make sure that you're only doing half of it and then you're gonna make sure that the fireplace half is on its own layer. So you're gonna keep the curve, draw the curve, but when you want straight lines, you make sure that drawing assist is on just like that. Then you're gonna do the perimeter of it and any kind of molding so that it, it becomes so much easier and it looks really sharp to do those little offset lines. So now this part needs to be curved so I turn off the drawing assist and then I can do my curved details. And then when I want it on, I want a straight line, then I can keep it back on. Because I've done only half of it, I can click on that layer, slide it to the left, duplicate it, and then to go back to the selection and then flip it horizontally, slide it over so that it is meeting, it's mirroring it. And then once the location is perfect and you like it as is, you're gonna go back to the selection and you can emerge it down. So that one layer is the entire fireplace mantle. So that's how you get a lot of details pretty quickly. Then you're gonna go ahead and turn off the drawing assist because that way you can draw the angled line. So remember for straight lines in Procreate you're going to draw a line and then hold it and then it snaps tight just like that. Now you can go to the um, your rough draft layer and then erase any of those stray lines that you didn't like so that the inked um, lines are more sharp. 
Uh, if you need to make your elevation borderline thicker, you can do that here. But this is where you're going to add any kind of detail that you want to show. So once you're happy with the elevation and you want to share it back to your computer, you can go to tools then to share, save it or send it as a JPEG and it exports. You can export it to your iMac through AirDrop is what I usually do. And then it sends it and then you're all done. And then you can use it as part of your, uh, your presentation or just keep it on that iPad if you're going to use that as an iPad. So this is what it looks like when it's shared. If you want to screenshot it so that you can see the grid paper, so you can see the height and how it all relates and make sure it's all correct, then you can screenshot it just like that. I hope that helps you and I'll see you next time.